playing some Mario Party late. It is late my time. I don't know what time it is here where you're at central time here. It's 10. Oh no! No, not online. I wish. I wish. No, nah, I'm just playing with computers. That would be awesome though. How do you set up Parsec for this? Okay. <laughs> Please, I would, I would watch that. What's going on, ladies and gents, and welcome to MoPlays. Uh, MoPlays is a channel where we cover all things gaming related, and in this case, some cool gaming stuff that you can do. So, um, I've been making, meaning to make this video for a while, but, yo, know, watching my dude, Gibby Giverson, you know, he, uh, supportive of the home arcade community. Uh, watches a lot of home arcade content and just happens to be a live streamer on Twitch. And watching him play Mario Party was like, it's great. I love Mario Party 1. But I thought he was playing online. And once I found out he wasn't playing online, I'm just kind of like, well, why aren't you? And then when I hear, oh, he doesn't know what Parsec is, and then made me start to think, how many people really don't know what Parsec is? And so for those who don't know, uh, Parsec is a tool that's usually used by businesses originally to uh to do things like meetings and you know share work from like remote stations and whatnot but recently in the last couple of years it's also been used to do online gaming gaming through flycast or no dc or redream or retro Arc, you name it you're able to do it with it and especially with the pandemic it was a way for people to really be able to connect and Get that feeling of couch co-op or couch competitive play without having to necessarily be on a couch next to each other. But Moat, how do we do this? Well, I'm going to show you right now. So to get Parsec running, you want to go to Parsec app, Parsec.app, and you'll go to the website. You know, it's free. You don't have to pay anything. It runs on Windows, Web, Mac OS, Android, Raspberry Pi 3, or Linux. Uh, I'm downloading the Windows version, the 64-bit version. If you don't know which version you have Windows, it's probably 64-bit. You know, nothing nothing too extreme and whatnot. And literally, the install is it's quick, it's fast, it's seamless. And then, boom, there you go. Uh, log in with your email. If you don't have one, you're going to have to sign up for an account. It's free. You don't have to pay anything. And this is what you get right out of the gate. You know, this is what you'll see. Um, I usually turn VSync off. You know, you can change your host name if you really want to. Uh, resolutions, whatever you want it to be. And then I always up, level, up the bandwidth to like 30 because my internet's pretty decent. But I always leave the frame rate at 60. And it even tells you that, you know, the higher you go, um, the more difficult it'll be for Parsec to run. And let's be real, a lot of people aren't running anything that's higher than 60. A lot of games that you're interested in playing aren't higher than 60. And then, you know, I always turn all lowest latency because you want as little input lag as possible when you're running something like this. Now, when I turn on my, my controller, gameplay map, it's not showing up because I didn't turn on my Elite controller. But as soon as I turned it on, boom. Like, it, it recognizes everything. It maps the buttons automatically. So... You're good to go on that aspect. You don't have anything to really worry about. And so when you click in the arcade, you know, you see there's games already being, uh, they're already available that you could just join. People are playing things like Ultimate Chicken Horse and Ultimate Marvel's Capcom 3, you know. But for this, we're going to actually just load a game up. So I'm going to load Redream. As you guys see, I can host it and I host a public game. I don't know why I made it public, but I did. Maybe because it was too early. Maybe I thought somebody was going to maybe try to try to jump on or something. But, you know, it is what it is. So, in Redream, Redream works really well with Parsec. Like, I never had problems with Redream. And you can always host a game easily. People can connect to controllers. And Redream keeps, not Redream, but as long as Redream, uh, Parsec keeps you safe. You know, and it keeps you protected. Um, you can only you can make it so that only certain apps are allowed so people can get access because essentially people are remoting into your PC. So anything that you run like Redream, Project 64, Project Dolphin, PCS, uh, PCSX2, make those allowed apps and make it so that people can only control via that. You know, you don't want somebody remoting into your PC and then all of a sudden, you know, getting into your credit card info, et cetera, et cetera. 
That being said, you want to use Parsec yeah. with people that you trust. Uh, there's a friends list. Make sure that you add your friends and you know, stay safe. You know, uh, myself as a content creator and as a live streamer, like I'm just not gonna let anybody remote into my PC. You know what I mean? Like that just is what it is. That's why you make it so only allowed apps are in. So your emulators and whatnot, that's what you wanna have allowed in. So right now I'm hosting, and then it's just like the person sitting right next to you. So you'll go into versus mode right now. Like that's what I'm doing. I'm messing with the options right now because I think I just realized, hey, uh, this might be a public game. <laughs> and I didn't think I allowed it because it's a fresh install. So you'll go in, as you see, 1v1. Uh, and yeah, man, like somebody can grab a controller and join in. The next thing we test is Project 64 and Mario Party because the whole reason for this video was because Gibby wanted to play some Mario Party. Which, I I love Mario Party 1, so, you know, playing Mario Party 1 is amazing. Now, this is me moving around the thing because normally this would be in full screen, but OBS doesn't work well with uh, display, full display capture and Project 64. That's a Project 64 thing. You know, people are going to be like, oh, well, why didn't you use Moopin Plus 64? Or why didn't you use Redream? And I'm like, because I want to use Project 64. But again, you see, I can switch a game from private to public. I can add extra slots. I can adjust the bandwidth limit. And if people need to reset their controllers because they're not acting right, we can do all that right there with the overlay. Uh, overlay doesn't have to be on a little bit in the video. Later in the video, I'm pretty sure I turn the overlay off because it gets annoying. But as you see, I'm moving around and everything else. And we can just go down the pipe and we can depart for adventure. So if you have a bunch of friends who talk a lot of trash, like you welcome to die, talking trash about playing N64, and you know that you're like states away, this is a way to settle that. This is a way to get to the business at hand and, and just have some fun. Only one person needs to have all the stuff and the other people, they just join in. So you're essentially hosting for the people. So if you're running the, the program and whatnot, you send your friends invites or the link and they get to play. Now, what about joining games? You know, if what if you don't have friends? I know it's weird, right? But you can join on something. Like here I join on a uh, newer Super Mario Brothers Wii, like a ROM hat. This dude's from Texas, you know, I'm here in Wisconsin. But clearly my my ping is better than his. You can look at it and tell, you know, and he's a, and he's a streamer too, and I didn't know that. <laughs> but I clicked in. But he's running this whole project, Dolphin. And, you know, it, it literally just let me in. Controllers mapped and everything else. I wish he would have hit the button, but hey, wishes are fishes and we all can't get what we want. And now this is me just showing that, hey, this is PCX2 running. Um, didn't think you guys really wanted to see Marvel's Capcom 2 all over again, but I show Marvel's Capcom 2 running. I show uh, SmackDown Here Comes the Pain. And this works through Parsec. Literally, it works. And then finally, we get over to GameCube where this is where I started adjusting things. I realized, oh snap, this is a fresh install. I should probably ingest some of this stuff. And right here, I turn off the overlay. And then finally, Mario Kart Wii. You know, Mario Kart Wii is a, it's actually an underrated uh, racer. You know, I really should stop ending videos and, 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 and footage and stuff with Mario Kart because, you know, I really do get the stigma of being just the Mario Kart guy. You know, Mario Kart mode. I'm gonna get a t-shirt like that, watch. Somebody's gonna make some merch and be like, yo, that, that's what he does, bro. He throws turtle shells and he gets mushrooms and whatnot. But even if you even if you want to get online with your friends, man, it's Parsec is a great option for you to just go ahead and get in the door.